Hi everyone, it's John Mitchell. In this video, we're going to look at Lewin's three-step change model. So, Kurt Lewin, he's the same guy we've spoken about before. He developed the force field analysis theory. So, he developed a change model that businesses could use to implement change effectively. Now, it's a three-step model, so pretty straightforward. Step one is to unfreeze. Step two is to then implement change. And finally, step three is to refreeze the business. So, we've spoken a lot about how businesses can find or people within business can find change difficult and it's then therefore a difficult process to implement change successfully and so businesses can use this three-step model to help them be successful when implementing change so we'll go through each one of these steps now the first step is to unfreeze the business because businesses can find change so difficult when unfreezing it's all about preparing the business for change and can include things like identifying what needs to change so the first step can be really well what actually need does the business need to change and then creating urgency around that so find or letting the employees know and the key stakeholders know that these are the reasons and this is why we must change so that can gain momentum also challenging the current beliefs that may resist the change so those real beliefs within the business and the people within the business that is going to stop the change from being implemented successfully challenging those so we can sort of or the business can remove those and therefore uh, they can implement change successfully now just think of a block of ice the first step would be if you wanted to move that block of ice or change the shape of it you would need to unfreeze it first and then therefore it would become a liquid and it would be much easier to move that's the similar kind of concept here with unfreezing uh, this particular in this particular stage so the unfreezing stage can often be the most difficult because it's really challenging the status quo of the people within the business now that the business is unfrozen and prepared for change it's time for step two which is the change itself so that the business can begin moving to the new desired state now it's important that the business is really transparent using open communication so that the employees and stakeholders are very clear on exactly what is expected of them and also support being provided during this stage to help those that are finding the change difficult now people are empowered to take action and really embrace the change and any necessary resources are provided towards the implementation of the change so that the change can be then implemented successfully. Now that the change has been implemented, it's time for step three, which is to refreeze. So refreezing is about reinforcing the change and anchoring it into the culture so that it can remain for the long term. So again, think about that block of ice. Initially, it's been unfrozen so that it can be manipulated and moved. Once it's changed shape, it's then time to refreeze it so that that new shape can remain. Same kind of principle here. So without refreezing, there's potential that the change can be implemented but then gradually the business moves back to its old way. So by refreezing it, the business is anchoring it into the culture or reinforcing the change for the long term. So continuous support and training is provided to help that reinforcement so that the employees, again, if any are struggling, they're provided with support. All training and all policies are changed to uh, reinforce the particular change. And also, if there are things that aren't quite working, adjustments are made wherever necessary. So just to recap, Kurt Lewin developed a change model that businesses could use to implement effective change. And the three-step model is the unfreeze, step two, change, and then step three, refreeze. So unfreeze, remembering preparing the business for change, creating the need or urgency and reducing resistance. Change is actually implementing the change itself, ensuring that those people are trained and supported and there's open communication, very transparent, so that everyone understands exactly what's expected of them. And also the final step to refreeze, which is reinforcing the change and embedding it into the culture and making any adjustments where necessary. So that is Kurt Lewin's model, which can be used to implement change effectively. So for questions, activities and more, then come on over to teachingbubble.com.